Hello, welcome back to BS Life. In this episode, I want to take you through uh, the process of how I converted um, this animation. Basically, it's Hatsune Miku again. Like this character, um, usually you can find something like this from an app called MMD. And apparently, MMD is not actually Freud. So it's um, a character that you created using Freud Studio is not the same as the character um, that you find inside MMD. Um, MMD is actually a, quite a different thing and you can find a lot of MM, MMD models that's actually ready to, to be used inside the MMD Studio, uh, whatever they call it. Um, but basically, like this example you are seeing here, I get the model of Hatsune Miku, right? You just find it on the net, and then you find the motion data of the character dancing, and sometimes you can you can also find the the camera data. But for what I'm doing here, to convert it into AR, uh, you don't need all that. Um, so yeah, I managed to convert it into Blender using the same add-on, the Cats add-on that. Uh, I talk about in a previous video um, so so this is the cats add-on right and this is Hatsune Miku inside blender the character looks much better than the AR version um, the AR version was actually converted using Google USD from GLTF so there's a lot of format conversion and some of the shader materials that I got lost somewhere, I think. And this is also not 100% perfect yet, but it's getting there. But anyway, in Blender, it looks correct. And I actually, um, I found the audio music that, dance music that goes with this dance. So that's with a typical Hatsune Miku voice, high pitched voice. So the character is dancing in, in sync um, and you can render it out actually. You can render just the audio and then select the correct format. You want it to be mp3 or something that you can convert into CA, CAF or CAF audio format for Apple Reality Composer. But uh, yeah, it's uh, just the audio. You can just render the audio inside blender so you can actually layer a couple of audio and render it as a single audio piece and yeah of course Hatsune Miku is working inside blender and you can render that out if you just want that but if you want to export this as AR you still need to do some kind of baking and you need to do sometimes you need to go you need to export it as FBX and re-import it back in order to bake it. But if you're lucky, you just export it as GLTF with the animations and then everything should be fine. You just convert the LG GLTF into USDZ. So a lot of steps, but I I'm going to show you the whole process. So you have the CATS add-on installed. So CATS Blender plugin and this thing can load a lot of different format including the MMD character so cats very very powerful if you import the Miku Miku dance model that's what MMD stands for it usually comes in PMD or PMX um, and then you go into the models directory of cats add-on you can find this MMD and there's Miku. So this is one example model of MMD. You just load it. So with the character loaded into Blender. So it's good. It might actually have some kind of dynamics with the hair, um, but maybe I'm not sure yet. I have to check that. So the character is currently static. You can try exporting it out into GLTF it might not work but let me save this first so this is a demo miku i can try exporting it 
as GLTF and try to convert it. It's actually, <coughs> yeah, I tested it. I think it fails with um, Apple's own USDC converter, but if you are using Google's one, it works. So you can test it out. Oh, I know. If I just export it like this, it's gonna fail because the character has extra objects. So that might actually take a while as well. So I will reopen Blender. We're gonna continue um, it with the character and try to load the, the dense animations. So the other Blender is still exporting. No, no, it's actually done. Well, that's okay. With the character selected, you can actually go to File, Import, um, v, VPD, the post data, or the VMD. So let's try VMD. Is that for the stand for the motion data? Under MMD directory, there is this example. This is the camera motion data. This is the character data. There's a couple of options you can take a look, but I just keep it at default. Import the VMD and so now the character should be moving. So this character, you can see it also has um, blend shapes. The blend shapes will not work on Apple USDZ for now. It's a limitation. Um, but yeah, at least we can have the motion data for, for the dance. Okay, actually, that's interesting. The character is not dancing. Maybe I need to select the whole bones. Ah, yeah, that's interesting. Just now I just select the head. Now, Katsune Miku is dancing. You just need to load um, the audio into Blender. Um, should I show it to you how to do how to do this? It's actually pretty easy. Just go to video sequence editor, the sequencer, and you just drop the audio here. Insert sound, go to the model directory, MMD, find the audio, just use the MP3 file, save as demo Miku, Miku 2. Um, we need to probably have the, we need to sync the audio properly. So we need to be able to scrub. So just now I turn on this draw display wa uh, waveform and I believe we can also scrub it. So turn on audio scrubbing and AV sync. Okay. So that's... <laughs> So I think when Hatsune Miku say beep beep beep, that's the when this hand should be like maybe somewhere like that. Yep, I think it's a little bit more or less it's sync already. So this is actually kind of done. And if you try to export it, it might fail, but export it as FBX or um, actually I'll just export it as GLTF. GLB might actually work as well, but uh, GLTF is safer. So with, with the GLTF ready, I'm actually using, again, I keep saying that, GLTF from USD Google. This is actually available on GitHub. I don't know why Google One works, but Apple One doesn't work. Um, but I will show you anyway. So I have two terminal commands. This one can run USDC convert, and the other one can run Google One. Google version of the, the same converter. So let me try this.
So this is static Hatsune Miku. It failed to load, and then if you drag it into Reality Composer, it will crash. Apple, if you are if you are watching this, the USDC convert doesn't work. The other one coming from Google, GLTF from actually oh, uh, USD from GLTF. This one actually works. So GLTF and then save it as Miku Google dot USDZ. Morph targets currently unsupported. Yep, that's okay. The result will be under my root directory. So there's Hatsune Miku and you can see there's a lot of junks. There's actually this uh, physical, there's a extra mesh for Hatsune Miku physics, like around the hair, etc. And there seems to be like an overlapping model. So that's something to consider when you're trying to export Hatsune Miku. Um, so yeah, what I did was to file export, export it as FBX first and then bring it back into Blender, re-import it. That's not very, um, not very practical, but it, it actually works. So if you bake it, um, you just want to bake the skeleton and then this mesh. You don't need to bake everything else. Um, so file, export, FBX, selected objects only, or if you are using collection, you can turn on collection. This one should, in general, works. Oh, this is the static Miku, right? So it, it exports pretty fast. We should already have it here. FBX Miku. The problem is that exporting the FBX and bring it back into Blender will sometimes screw up the, the material. But at least it cleans up the animations and also cleans up the, the extra objects. The skeleton also the armature seems to change. But this is this actually works really well with um, Apple motion data. So now we export it as GLTF. So I call it bake. And inside the same folder, we should have the bake GLTF and we can use Google USDZ from GLTF to convert it. Well, I'm actually saving it as GLB. Oh well, uh, if you are actually, if you want to see the result right away, you can always use the GLTF viewer and then drag the GLTF over there. So very likely this one works. Ah, uh, see, there's all this extra mesh that you don't want. There's also this um, error nodes. That's actually very important. So yeah, if you if the process actually works, um, should be easier to see the result. I want to see if I can download this MMD character. Ah, I need to log into Nikoniko. Yeah, you can download MMD character, but um, if you like the Freud character creations, the using created using Freud Studio, you can apparently convert it into MMD. So converting Freud PMD into MMD. You will eventually find it. So convert Freud Studio to MMD with one click. So this is a good tutorial. 
so apparently there is a way to do that but you will need to consider a lot of things like the rig for the cloth and things like that so th there's this VRM to PMX converter so give this a try yourself this article is actually quite new some uh, from May 2019 so ideally um, what I really want to do is to convert character from Freud and then apply the MMD animations um, on top of that of course we can always manually animate it but we might need the proper rig in blender or we just use motion capture data with motion capture data you just hook the characters into your motion motion body um, a full body anchor uh, the way Apple call it so this is actually so that your iPhone or iPad can read your body motions and then up, you can apply it into blender whether it's real time or not we, we think about it later so yeah it's a what is it called body Apple Air T3 As for now, Apple didn't make it easy yet, but you can do it using Xcode and Unity. Just try to bring your own 3D character. Mm. Yeah, but there's a lot of things that you need to understand. Um, so yeah, you can convert the Freud model into MMD and then maybe we can then apply the MMD dense data. Let's see, okay, this is JLB, which is wrong. I need to delete it. But Hatsune Miku actually, if you convert it into FBX and then re-import into Blender, this is actually what you get. There seems to be a problem with the blend um, Google converter with the shader. I don't know why. Maybe it's the UV. But at least this bake GLTF should work. Equal Google X dot USBZ. So it's gonna save it into the root. So yeah, this is actually better, much better than this one, because I clean up some of the mesh. Still flickering, I don't know why, I don't know why, could be the normal setting in the material, but with Hasune Miku, like, if you're in Blender and you render it using Eevee, this character looks should be like non photorealistic. Some people call it flat mode. Okay, this one actually have a bit of shader that's more or less like a PBR. But I rather I prefer the the look of the I prefer the look of the character from Freud Studio, which is a completely NPR. Definitely, it has more advanced texturing and materials. Oh, this one actually, I tried to animate it using Blender, just testing the the jiggle motions. But the, this one, um, the bone is pretty clean. I think I can try to rig this properly. Maybe just the IK for the legs and the arms, fingers. Maybe I can just manually. Um, manually rotate it into pose everything else is pretty simple the face and somehow the latest version of blender is super slow on my mac that's actually interesting so 
So with the Freud, Freud while the Miku MMD model is actually basically for dancing character, the Freud one actually more or less is for real-time character. People use it for VR chat or even for kind of like for YouTubing. But as you can see, this character is easily animatable. And we can export it into um, Apple AR. So this is uh, the one I created last night, just a test. This has too much jiggle, but the, and the skirt. I have to think about the skirt because all these characters somehow have a skirt or if it's a male model, it's probably easier. And the hair, this is like a short hair character. Some characters have a lot of uh, detailed hair. Hair is actually something else that you need to think when you're animating a character. So this one I can just export as AR. It will work. The shader is more or less works. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's the whole setup. MMD is different from Freud, once again. But you can convert Freud into MMD and potentially apply the motion data. But in the future, I want to try the the body capture and the body anchoring in real time and applying it into this kind of character. Whether you call it virtual idol or virtual doll, this is, I think, Current is kind of a tool that you can use because it's available and you can make your own character based on the presets. You can customize the clothing. Um, there's limited blend shapes, but this character I think is looking pretty good. Um, so yeah, I didn't animate the morph yet. So this character have blend shapes, but again, blend shape doesn't work, which is kind of sucks. But yeah, I think we can perhaps use the face capture data and try to apply it into this character. For simple motions and just the mouth making shapes and talking this character actually works some people already use it um, for VR um, so yeah we will see uh, we'll see how it goes let me know if you have any kind of ideas um, but basically this is something that you can we can work on um, in the near future for AR so yeah hopefully this is useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye